Patta Gobi Matar is a simple side dish made from cabbage and green peas. It's quick to prepare and tastes even better after a night in the fridge. You're going to need two cups of chopped cabbage, one medium tomato, chopped, three quarters of a cup of green peas, one medium onion, sliced, two cloves of garlic, chopped, and one green chili pepper, also chopped. For the spices, you'll need one teaspoon of whole cumin, one teaspoon of coriander powder, half a teaspoon of turmeric powder, one quarter teaspoon of red chili powder, and of course, salt according to your taste. I'll be using two tablespoons of canola oil, but you can use any vegetable oil of your choice, and a non-stick pan or any other karai for preparing this dish. Start by heating the oil on medium-high, then add the cumin to the hot oil. It should crackle right away. Add the onions and stir to combine them with the roasting cumin. Add the garlic and chili pepper followed by the cabbage and keep stirring to combine the ingredients together. Then add the spices. When everything is thoroughly mixed, add some salt followed by the tomatoes. Combine the tomatoes with the cabbage and cook everything while covered on medium-low heat. Three to four minutes later, the tomatoes will have released their juices and you can add the green peas. After thoroughly mixing everything together, cover it all up and allow the dish to cook for another three to four minutes. Now the patta gobi matar is ready to be served as a side dish. If you have any leftovers, they will make the most delicious paratha the next day. This recipe should serve three to four people. Here are some variations. This is a very simple dish, but there are a few things that you can do to alter it. For example, Try adding a teaspoon of grated ginger when you add the garlic and chili pepper. This will just give your dish an extra layer of flavor. If you don't like spice, then you can try de-seeding the chili pepper or just omit it altogether. Sometimes I don't add any tomatoes to this dish and that gives it a slightly drier texture. I have to keep an eye on it so that it doesn't dry out completely, but cabbage tends to spring water when it cooks, so it's usually fine. Finally, to use this in a paratha, try sandwiching it between two chapatis and then rolling it out. I find this is much less messy, but of course you should do it the way that you feel most comfortable. For more recipes, please check out my blog at www.anilamaharaj.com and subscribe to this channel. Thank you so much for watching.